Spoiler warning, we're presuming you're up to date with all things Andrew Garfield of late. You know what we mean. Ever since I got bit by that spider, I've only had one week where my life has felt normal. That was when you found out. Can I tell you something that I knew you were on no way home? And I knew... How? I knew. How? I'm going to tell you and you're going to love it. All right. I was talking to this Tom Holland guy. Yeah. Zendaya was sitting to the left of him. Yes. And we were talking about... Tom's a really bad liar. He is. I love you, Tom. <laughs> really the liar. worst liar. I love you. <laughs> and we were talking about Zendaya's stunt where she has to jump off scaffolding. Uh-huh. And, uh, oh, God. And Zendaya was saying, oh, you know, it was exciting. And I was so looking forward to do it. And Tom was like, oh, my God, it looks amazing. I mean, I wasn't there, of course. That was quite a scary stunt. Yeah. What you guys did there. Yeah. It was fun. It was really fun. It's very unnatural. Well, I wasn't there. It looked really fun. <laughs> And I've actually, because I want to share this with you, yeah. I screen grabbed the moment where you can see his soul <laughs> leave, his body. leave his body. Okay, well, this is something, and I'm just going to oh, I'm going to throw myself off the <laughs> And the best bit about this is that I didn't pick him up on it in the moment. I just went. <laughs> you're so kind. If you're not there, Tom. Who, how did she get through it? How, is she, are you literally? <laughs> Hang on a minute. God bless him. I love him too. I love you too, Tom. Yeah, he's... he's but never change. Never change. Please, never change. <clears throat> you know, in the future, if you're going to steal cars, don't dress like a car thief, man. What are you? You a cop? Really? You seriously think I'm a cop? Cop in a skin-tight red and blue suit. You know, you're... you're, you're... In your movies before No Way Home, yeah. you... I can't get my head around this. How was small knives? My weakness, it's small knives. The <laughs> crotch attack bit. Yeah. Crotch! The kid storyline in the second movie. Mm -hmm. This is a wind turbine. You make this? No way. This is amazing. It's good as new, right? And that improv when Gwen's about to go to the Oxford thing. Oh, yeah, yeah. I'm sorry to bother you. Uh, what? My fair lady, but um, my dad, madame, but um, uh, who am I? I mean, who am I? I'm John Hopkins. I'm I'm one what? of the young professors at Harvard, and and I, I've been what? trying to get her to be in my, be a part of my team for a while now. How was that all from your mind? How much improv is there of yours in those movies? It's very nice of you to list some things that I'm proud of in those in those films. All right, Ed, let's go. Ah. Mark Webb really let. Me me play he, yeah and he kind of trusted me and and yeah i love I, I love the small knives i is a, you know the other thing that that i really love is the that the, it, frogger i didn't realize this was an american game but there's a game called frogger yep. and there's a whole sequence of me crossing the street when i see gwen again for the first time in a long time and i said can we do a thing where I don't stop looking at her and then I just dodge cars and bikes and like whatever, like. That was you? Yeah, and I said it's the writer and he was like, great, I'm writing it in, great. I was like, okay, cool. That's an amazing bit. Well, it's like, you, you start thinking like the character. You start thinking like, well, he's not just gonna cross the street and no. and whatever, like, what, what could the options be? Maybe his, Spider sense is less. I started to explore. I was like, maybe it's like he's so in love. Maybe he's getting like short wired, or maybe it's just pure instinct. Because I, I just like I like the idea of just like him floating across, like like you know what's that like like in Wayne's World, like Garth going towards the his dream woman. What I forget was it Claudia Schiffer? Oh, Kim Basinger. Yeah, that, I, I like that in, in that that kind of like image of him just kind of floating across the street. It's, it's genuinely beautiful. Hey. Hi. Hi. You look amazing. And the stuff on the bridge, that's all lovely. Yeah. I want to talk to you, though, about you going with Toby to the cinema. Yeah. Tell me you were wearing a Spider-Man mask. That would have just... <laughs> no. We were, we were just two middle-aged white guys <laughs> with baseball caps just going to see the movie. That was great, man. It was so great. I mean, like, I... 
honestly, it's so weird to be now friends with 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 Toby's because he was he was my like. I would look in the mirror and try and do his lines every all like with my friend Terry McGinnis. We would just try and convince each other that we could do it, and it was fantasy fulfillment being able to be with him and being able to support Tom and be a part of it with him. Oh, it was just you know, you know. It's and great. you get to have all these in jokes. I can't believe lines like um, "I'm something of a scientist myself." How is that in the movie? I know. How did they get away with it? Harry tells me you're quite the science whiz, you know. I'm something of a scientist myself. I like know. All of it, it just. I know, it was so fun. Again, John Watts, man. This this director, John Watts, just, I don't know how he, I honestly don't know how he did it, like to to bring in, how was it, two decades of yeah. story and to make it feel fresh and to make it not feel, to make it feel purposeful yeah, exactly. and connected. It wasn't a gimmick. No, and actually healing, like the three, like I love the idea that, you know, that, that, Tom's Peter really needed our Peters there. To, Middle brother, bigger brother. To keep him on the right path. This is all my fault. I can't save everyone. And in that very specific moment that Tom almost gave away in an earlier interview, like, I love the idea that if if this Peter hadn't have shown up, then he could have met the same fate that my Peter had, had met. There's something yeah. so cosmically, ah, it's really cool, man. It actually, after that trailer came out, I went, if. You aren't in it. Yeah. I will write to my local MP. Yeah. I am furious. Yeah, yeah, yeah. Who can I get? Anyway, it all worked out. Could you tell me your side of the story that Charlie Cox told of the pair of you going to an Atlanta restaurant yeah. and staring at a wall separately <laughs> and eating your dinner? <laughs> he told that story, huh? <laughs> I love Charlie. So me and Charlie, we've been friends for a long time. Like it was, we we would hang out when when we were when we were all first in Los Angeles. Myself, Charlie. Jamie Dornan, Eddie, uh, Robert Pattinson, and Tom Sturridge, and a couple of others, and so we would all just kind of, and, and me and Charlie got really, really close, and 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 I had heard that he was doing it, he had heard that I was doing it, so we were just like, oh my god, we get it, but then we're like, we can't really hang out, we're not really allowed, <laughs> so yeah, we had we had like a couple of hangouts that yeah, just like was like, okay, we need a, do you guys have a, a table that's in a corner, no, a really dark <laughs> corner. No, Connor, where we can both just look at the wall. Yeah, yeah, yeah. No, I can't give you our names. No, <laughs> our names are Phil and Tim, and we we have we're we're from Texas. And like, it, it was really that. Um, and then we went like we went on a little um, skiing skiing trip afterwards. We went to Jackson Hole together. Oh my God, Spider-Man and Daredevil going skiing together. It was so great. And and no one no one was no one gave a shit. <laughs> like everyone was like, eh, whatever. Skiing's a good idea because you got the goggles. Yeah, 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 yeah. That's good. What are the mementos that have made it home? Is there a Spider-Man costume in your house, or would they never even let you have it? They wouldn't let me have it. No, no way. No, no way. Not even after you wore it with no underwear. They're still like, we're keeping this. I wore underwear. Then we need to have a word with IMDb trivia. <laughs> I think people want that to be the truth, <laughs> and it isn't the truth. So. <laughs> This has become just a, you. That's what you've been building up to. The oh, this was the big. <laughs> this, this, is this is my for your this, IMDb trivia this gripes. Is, this is my scoop, <laughs> guys. He wore pants. <laughs> Pulitzer, please. <laughs> Thank you. Thanks for watching. If you enjoyed this video, don't forget to subscribe and click the bell icon to keep up to date. You can listen to my radio on movies and TV podcast screen time on BBC Sounds. And you can find these interviews in full on BBC iPlayer by searching Movies with Ali Plum.